Hey guys, it's Shell. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is Saturday and I am finally going to this dance class that I've been talking about going to for months on end. And I'm not going to lie, I am nervous as heck, which is why I haven't been yet. But I told myself when I got up, because every Saturday I'll get up and I'm like, I'm going to go. And then I'll like come up with some excuses like, oh, I this or oh, I that. So no excuses. I am nervous. I'm even nervous to go to this WW meeting for whatever reason. But I'm about to go to WW. Then I'm going to go to um, WW, Trader Joe's to get some basil. And then off to the dance class. Um, I'm also excited because next Saturday... I, next Friday and Saturday. So next Friday, I get to take my old dance instructor's class and I get to dance with her again and some of my like old friends and then my old dance buddies. And then Saturday, the work instructor, like leader is coming and they're doing a whole class. So I'm going to that too. And then I'm gonna meet up with my friends. So I am so freaking excited. Um, this is my first time going back home since I moved, which is kind of crazy because it's been over a year, but um, I'm excited to go dance with my dance buddies and see them and hopefully squeeze them and hug them and just have a good freaking time and dance with them. Like I am so freaking ecstatic. So anyways, I'm going to show you all these overnight pumpkin pie oats that I was talking about in last week's vlog. I never made them, but I made them last night. And we're gonna eat them and we're gonna try them today so we'll see how they are okay so i made one without chia seeds which looks like this because i didn't know if i was gonna like the chia seeds so this smells incredible though and then this one is with the chia seeds but look is it supposed to look like that do i need to mix it up a little bit more because that just don't look right to me I'm like, do you really need the chia seeds in there? I mean, I guess it's a little thicker with the chia seeds, but anyways, we're gonna try it right now. Get my two eggs to go on the side. It's 9.03, I need to hurry up. I do this to myself every freaking time. Oh, I gotta get my, my uh, walnuts. Hold on, let me weigh out my walnuts. And then we'll taste them together. Sorry, my head's cut off. I don't have my tripod out here. All right, I've got my walnuts in there. We're gonna taste, we're gonna taste test it. Hopefully it's good. Oh, that's cold. Oh, wow. This is fabulous. I haven't been a huge overnight oat fan. But this one, two thumbs up. I made it. I went to Trader Joe's and I got some basil. They have like these massive things of basil and I'm making um, balsamic chicken. It's like really good. I haven't had it in years, but I'm making that. Um, I got my first little five pound, five pound milestone. Here's the thing that I forget. Okay, so I don't use their weight. I use my weight on my scale. So I'll delete their weight. And I'm always like, why am I not? Like, I have lost like 11 point something pounds. Like, why are they not showing that? Because in their system, I will delete their weight. So it's just, it's just a thing. So anyways, they showed I lost like 6.2 pounds. Um, which my, my weight finally did drop and it was a pretty good one. It wasn't that, but I also like, I'm in my shoes, I'm in clothes, all that kind of stuff. But it was cool. Cause like, it's like a little keychain. by the way, this nail popped off. I, these nails are the kiss nails, the kiss nails. I don't know if all of them, because either, these are the only kiss nails that I got, but they, they have been popping off like crazy, and I don't have glue on me. I used to carry glue. Let me see if I can find some. But I have another non-scale victory. I ate, I was like going to eat, you know, I, I brought my, I was full. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that up now. 
while I'm waiting here because it's 1037 and it doesn't start till 11. Um, so yeah, we're going to be dancing outside too. I did not know it was downtown though. I was like, I would have known it was downtown because I thought it was Camp North End. And I was like, if I would have thought, if I would have known it was downtown, I probably wouldn't have come. So I guess it's a good thing that I didn't realize. I was just like, whenever I like did the, how long it would take or the, the travel where I would need to go from the Weight Watchers meeting to Camp North End, I was like, oh, that's not bad. It's like a super easy drive. It's like super straight drive. Yeah, no, <clears throat> not this one. All these turns get off on this interstate go on this interstate then go on this interstate and turn left and do oh my gosh anyways this is the recipe that they gave us this week and this looks freaking amazing so i'm gonna keep this one and then i'm gonna eat my overnight oats i'm gonna finish eating them i got my i gotta take this package up to the office because uh amazon delivered delivered the wrong package to me but so far I'm like really like just really proud of myself like I'm feeling really good today um I'm excited to take this dance class I like actually talked in the Weight Watchers meeting today which was huge for me because I always have things I want to say but I'm always like so I'm really proud of myself that was, like, huge out of my comfort zone to, like, actually talk and say stuff. But I just overall feel good today, you know? Like, I woke up in a good mood. Like, work is picking up and it's making me so happy. I'm getting close. I'm so close to 80,000, y'all. I'm, I'm, like, I feel like I'm going to cry right now just thinking about it because... Y'all don't even understand. Like, I'm less than 100 away. So, if y'all are watching and you haven't subscribed yet, please go subscribe because it'll be, like, that'll be amazing to eat, re to reach 80K by the end of the year. Mm. By the way, it was like, I woke up and it was all dreary. They were calling for rain pretty much all morning. And I was like, are they going to cancel this thing? So I'm glad to see that the sun is actually out. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and finish this. This is really freaking good. Like, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. It was only six points at Weight Watchers. And it's very filling. Because I use sugar-free maple syrup. Like the pancake syrup. So I got two points for 12 grams of walnuts, one point for the almond milk, and three points for the old-fashioned oats. And then I also had eggs this morning. Them babies are filling me up. So that's good. I could probably switch it back down to like just eating one egg in the morning. But anyways... I will see you guys after dance class. I'm so freaking excited. This is very similar to like, I, I would call it similar to the fitness marshal, which I absolutely freaking love. I have this beautiful view right here. And my favorite building right there. Is that an airplane? No, what the heck that is. But, um, oh, it's a train. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what that is. All right, so I'm all done. It's hot out today, y'all, and we danced outside, but it was really fun. Um, I wasn't confused. Like, I was able to pick up the dances just like this. So I'm, like, really proud of myself for that because I can remember just, you know, wanting to, like, do dance classes and stuff and being like, oh, no, I can't do that. It was really easy. Like, the, the steps were just, like, it was it was fun. It was fun. And everyone was so nice. But I'm headed. I know. Listen to my little splurge today. We're going. I'm going to Popeye's. I'm going to go to Popeye's and pick up some, um, some chicken. Because I was like, what do I want? What do I Hey. <laughs> hey. I'm like, what do I want? What do I want? And I thought about it last night. And I was like, I want chicken so that's where I'm going 
so I've never been in this area before I don't know if this is still uptown I don't think it is I think that this is I would assume Noda because it says Noda storage and then I saw a couple other places that said Noda but anyways it was really fun that's I gotta go through the through the light right at the light turn right onto Jordan place then turn left onto Matheson huh Avenue. can I turn right like where do I turn right at okay that's weird that was weird the line. Turn left um, but yeah, I'm going to find Popeyes right now, and then I'm going to go home and eat lunch with my kiddos and do some chores, so it was nice spending the day with you, well, the morning with you guys on Saturday, because normally I don't vlog, because normally I don't do anything, I usually just sit home and do chores, me and the kids will do stuff sometimes, but I usually don't vlog it, but it was fun, it was fun. And like I said, everyone was very nice, very nice, and I will definitely be back. Now, now that I got that checked off my list, now there's a Thursday evening class I want to go to, um, so I'm excited for that one too, but I'm not going to be able to make it this week because of the fact that I got to, oh, there's a city! Oh, that is such a pretty view. Oh my gosh, this right here. Where is this? I'm like, what road am I on? I don't even know what road I'm on. Col Coleman? Matheson. Matheson Avenue. When you go on that bridge, there is like a perfect view of the skyline. Golly, that was beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. Um, is there, I can turn on red, right? It's so pretty down there. It's so pretty. By the way, I didn't even tell y'all. I was on the interstate and I literally almost got into an accident because this a-hole, like I'm just sitting here minding my own business, right? Just minding my own business like doo 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 doo, -doo. And this jerk like comes over. I had to slam on my brakes and then I like honked the horn and he didn't even do anything. He was just like doo doo doo. I was like, you freaking a-hole. Okay, I have lived in Atlanta, okay, and I have lived in Augusta, and I have lived now here in Charlotte, and Charlotte has the freaking worst drivers, worst drivers. I'm going slow as hell. Let's not talk about worst drivers. I just don't know where I'm going. Okay, you go through this one, but yeah, literally just almost rammed right into me. Oh, I was so pissed. I was like, you... Thank God I was paying attention, but I really didn't even feel like I was paying attention because I wasn't even looking at the damn car. I just see him out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, whoa, what is he doing? Y'all, I swear I was in there for like 45 minutes. I kid you not. I don't know what time I actually got in there, but oh my gosh, they were so freaking busy and so freaking slow. Bye city. <laughs> Bye Skyline. So it is cured in the bag. Use the left two lanes to turn onto West Sugar. Secured and in the bag. Skyline is behind me. It's so pretty. So it is Saturday night and I wanted to come on here and tell you guys something and now I can't remember. I know what it was. Okay, let me go get the box. Hold on. I forgot you guys. I have an ultra, ultra, ultra haul to show you, but I wanted to show you these. Okay. These are so freaking cute. They look so good on. They look, these are the most natural that I've ever experienced in my life. Like they literally look like I got them done or they're my own nails. And while press-ons have come a long way, a lot of times I just can't find them and you'll see like a little bit of the, like the, your natural nail, like potent, uh, natural nail poking through here or whatever. So good, such crappy quality. And y'all know I'm the queen of press on nails so I know the good ones from the bad ones and I applied these I want to say Wednesday I don't remember exactly what day it was but these have popped off several every single day like I was meal prepping I had three pop off I was going to the Weight Watcher meeting I had this one popped off these nails are so cute and they're so natural 
but no matter what I do, I prepped my nails like I normally do. The thing is, is that these don't have the sticky on the back. They're just the nails, you see? So they don't have the little tab with their adhesive. There's no adhesive, so you have to glue these. And their glue sucks. And even my glue, which I think is great, is not great with these nails. So I just wanted to say that because while they're so cute, I just don't recommend them. But before my battery dies, you guys, I will link all this stuff down below. First of all, let me talk about Ulta real quick versus Sephora. Do y'all know why I love Ulta and why I'm still kind of like to Sephora? Listen, I went into Sephora last weekend and I was going to purchase this right here. And then I realized that the little VIB Rouge sale was going on. And she told me, she was like, this and this, this is off. And then if you're this. But I'm like, well, wait a minute. Like, because I haven't, and I didn't tell her this, but I'm like thinking in my head, I'm like, wait a minute. So because I have not purchased a certain amount or spent a certain amount in your store, I don't get to, to save 20% off during the sale. I think that's bogus. Has anyone else talked about this? Has anyone else talked about this? How bogus is that? Oh, you're a little peasant. You haven't really spent much money in our store, so you get 10% off and you only get these days. Well, if you're VIB Rouge and you've spent this much, which I think is like $1,000 per in a year, which is a lot of freaking money to spend on makeup and skincare, which I will do anyways, but I will, I will spend my money at Ulta because you want to know why? Ulta doesn't tell me I'm a freaking peasant because I've only spent $50 in their store for that year. They're like, we accept all of you and all of you are going to save 20 percent off on our little sale and all of you are going to be able to save during the beauty uh, what is it the the twice a year they do like the 21 days of beauty i don't know i just am i'm very impressed and i, I thought about that because i was like i was going to buy this and then i was like well i might as well wait until i get my little measly 10 percent off and I got it from Ulta anyways, and I ended up getting $10 off this whole entire order because they just, they just, they're just nice like that, you know? They just, they just give you stuff. But look at all of the stuff I got. I really hope that my battery does not die. If it does, I might actually open up my other, or go on my other camera. Now, I do want to say I am working with um, Ulta and Magic Link. Y'all ought to turn on my fancy camera because my other camera died. I really need to buy another battery. I don't know why I haven't bought one yet. So anyways, I'm working with Ulta and Magic Links. Mm -hmm. So they sent me a card to go shop Ulta. You know your girl's excited. Anyways, I am so freaking excited to show you guys this. This is a little mask set from Peter Thomas Roth. It's the multi-masker. I have been obsessed with skincare lately and taking care of my skin. And I have really noticed a big difference with masks and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted this. And so I got it. And um, what was I going to say? Masks. I also do a microdermabrasion. And I will link that product, by the way. All these products are going to be linked down below. But I'll link that product down below, too. I do that every Friday, and I'm really trying to get consistent with it because I notice when I do it, my skin looks so freaking good. But it's a microdermabrasion. Is it Peter Thomas Roth? I think it is. Again, I'll link it down below. But this is what the mask... And oh, my gosh. This was $58, but it's a 75 No. Is a $170 value because I'm, like, sitting here looking at these masks, and I'm like, these are really good size masks so you have the water drench hydrolonic cloud mask hydrating gel this is a good bit of products i mean i think that this is their like tr not trial size but i know that this isn't a full size but this is good that's a good size okay so that's like for when you need the hot extra hydration this is a cucumber gel mask. So this is refreshing, cooling, moisturizing gel. Helps soothe the look of dry skin. So again, good freaking size. Oh, that smells amazing. This is the pumpkin enzyme mask. It's a dermal resurfacer. So it's a three-in-one intense, intensive skin resurfacer mask. 
exfoliates with pumpkin enzyme. Oh, this smells freaking amazing. This smells like my pumpkin pie. Oh my gosh. And then this one is a 24K gold mask in its pure luxury lift and firm. So I'm so excited to try all of these out. And then I got, because this is my favorite, favorite, favorite foundation at the moment. Is this a full size? Hold on. Yeah, okay, it just looks smaller than normal. Um, so I currently have the light, which actually still works for me now, but I wanted to go ahead and get the fair light so I can mix the two together. But it's the CC Plus, the It Cosmetics CC Plus Nude Glow. It has SPF of 40. This stuff is so good. Now I will say that it, it does, when you put it on, it's very moisturizing and it's very dewy and it's dewy in the way that you really do have to set and mat down your face. But what happens is it doesn't become all powdery and cakey and gross. It just masks it down and your face just looks like it it just looks glow, glowy from within kind of vibe. It is freaking gorgeous. So I went ahead and I purchased this and then they were like, hey, you can go ahead and add this on and this is only $2 extra. So here is this little thing where I bought the CC cream. So that goes in there. And then you open up this little package, and it, ha ugh, it has a travel size Your Skin But Better setting spray, which I've never used before. Y'all know I love freaking IT Cosmetics products. I've never used this before. Hydrolonic acid, acid, coconut water, aloe vera extract, up to 16-hour makeup wear. So I'm really, really, really excited to give this a try. I'm going to take this home with me because it's like a perfect little travel size. And then they also gave you an itty bitty little superhero mascara, which is, I'm going to be honest, this is not my favorite. I feel like it's very flaky, but y'all know I wear lashes every single day anyways. And then I got my tried and true. This is my nighttime moisturizer. I freaking love it. I have been using this for years on end. Oh, oh, it says now it's supercharged. Okay. That's interesting. But this is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. It's a transforming moisturizing super cream anti-aging and I freaking love it. I absolutely love it. So this is what it looks like. I have been using it for years upon years upon years and it's just smells differently. Mm, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I like this anymore. Anyways, y'all know, maybe you don't, Becca went out of business, but their under eye corrector is really freaking good. Well, Smash, Smashbox collabed with Becca to bring the under eye brightening corrector back. Now, my friend did tell me they also came out with other colors. So this is the fair light. My friend was telling me, she was like, I don't know that I like this. Like, it's very drying. And I'm like, drying? I have the Becca right here and it's so freaking creamy. Like I literally have to kind of powder, powder it down a little bit because it's so super emollient and hydrating. And she was like, I don't know what it is about this, this Smashbox one. And I was like, I don't know if the consistency, like if it, if they change the formula, I might not like this. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this in the box and I will keep you guys updated throughout the week. But I also saw that Makeup Revolution has one and this was like $8.99 or $7.99 and they had a lot of really good reviews. So this is called the Revolution Magic Eye Bright Corrector and I got it in the color light medium and I applied this today. This is going to last literally forever because you need the tiniest little bit. Like I dipped my brush in there and just like used it. Boop, 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 boop. And it was then that I realized, I was like, holy crap, this is going to last me forever. So depending on which one I like more is the one that I'm going to keep. So I'm going to keep this box too. On Monday, I'm going to do one with the Revolution and one with the Becca and see which one I like better. This one is 0.28 ounces and this one is 0.15 ounces. So you get more and you pay way less. And then y'all know I've been saying that I am absolutely obsessed with all things masks. So I got this one too. I think these are all the masks that are like the sheet masks. Oh, no, there's, these are peel-off masks. There's a peel-off mask, a clay mask, a gel cream, 
a mask and scrub. This is a bonus buffer, and then you get a headband. This was $14.99, so I think that this would make a really great stocking stuffer, a really great gift for your friend or your daughter or your son or anyone in your household that loves masks or any of your friends that love masks, but you've got like a ton of them. Look at how many there are. And you got all different kinds. So that is really freaking cool. I'm really excited for that. Like really excited. You've got polishing, revitalizing, detoxifying, anti-stress, hydrating, renewing, brightening, clearing, purifying, cleansing, soothing, and rejuvenating. So I'm excited for that. And this is Freeman. This is a $25 value. And like I said, this is $14.99. But y'all, look at this, okay? You spend $160, you get this, okay? You have to add it to your cart. When I tell you I was freaking blown away when I opened this, I was like, this was free? First of all, you get this bag, okay? This alone would be an awesome gift. If you gave this to me, I girl, I'd be screaming. I'd be like, you know me so well. I can't even go through all of the things. Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil. You've got some Bye Bye Blow. Do y'all remember I was complaining about my October, how they duped me for my October birthday gift? Oh, oh, this makes up for it. You've got pure mellow eyes, so these are hyd hydrating masks for your under eye. You've got a Max, Mac Fix Plus. Look at this. A facial toner from Thayer's. Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil. Is that what? The, yeah, brow pencil. Tom Ford Black Orchard. Like, look at this. Uh, is this way hair oil? I mean, I'm telling you, this this goes on and on and on. Pixie Glow Tonic, Elf Power Gripper. I'm like, I'm going home and I'm hoping to go on this cruise, bringing all this stuff. Living Proof Frizz Shampoo, um, Hourglass primer, uh, you got a little bitty Too Faced mascara, you have got a Milani anti-gravity mascara, you got another little Tarte mascara, oh my gosh, lots of mascaras. I'm not finished. This was the crap that they gave me for my birthday gift. I got it for free in here. Uh, Bobby Brown, the, her, her, um, moisturizer that's like a good couple of days okay like are you kidding me strivectin neck tightening cream uh night concentrate number seven like I'm, I'm telling you like it'll take me like 15 minutes to go through all this crap like there is so much stuff in here so much stuff and this was all free this was free this was free still still more still more still more Still more. And what is this? Something from CoverGirl. Like, you've got conditioner. You've got, like, oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? What is this? Sexy hair. This is, this is a, I don't know, maybe a conditioner. You've got more. You've got another mask. Uh, this is Deer Hydration. So I don't know if this is a mask or something or moisturizer, juice, beauty. Exfoliating mask, thickening conditioner, Vichy, um, serum. This is a freaking precisely brow. Do y'all remember? Do y'all remember that itty bitty sample that they gave me for my birthday gift? This came in this. This is a very nice. You're going to get a lot of uses out of that. A little baby Laura Mercier. This, the ordinary. This is like a full freaking size. Are you freaking kidding? Caffeine solution, 5%. This is, this is like something for the eye. Massage a small amount onto the eye contour, AM and PM. Are you kidding me? Let's see what CoverGirl's got in here. Oh, nice. These are those reusable pads. And it comes with a little carrying case. Oh, girl, are you freaking kidding me? I am still at 
absolutely blown away at all of the stuff that came in this thing. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed my little Ulta haul. Again, everything is going to be linked down below. Thank you to Magic Links and Ulta for sending me these goodies. Oh my gosh. Well, I got to pick them out. Thank you for sending me the gift card. Um, but yeah, like I am so, uh-oh. I am so ecstatic. I don't know if I'm going to like this though. Oh, I should probably keep that box. Because, girl, if I break out, mm-mm. No, they changed the pants for sure though. Anyways, I'll see you guys on Monday or sometime. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing me as much as you did today on Saturday. Happy Monday. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you, since I showed you guys on Saturday, the Makeup Revolution and then the Smashbox Becca under eye corrector. I'm going to go ahead and show you and I'm going to apply them the same exact way. And I'm going to show you the difference. I kind of also want to see for myself. Uh, by the way, what I have on my face right now is this CC Plus Nude Glow. Do you see how dewy my face looks? I freaking love it. Yes, I matte it down and I powder it down, but it just looks so glowy and healthy. Anyways, I do feel like it can tend to look a little greasy, which is why when I powder... Y'all, this time of year, it's so hard for me to film because I'm constantly fighting with the sun because the sun comes over this way at like noon, whereas in the summertime, it doesn't come this way. So anyways, I really, really, really love this foundation. And then when I just cover it or powder it down, I still have this really pretty glow from within. It's gorgeous. So this one on my right eye is going to be the Makeup Revolution. And already I feel like I like it better than the Becca because the Becca is like, well, the, the original Becca. So let's not, let's not even say, because I haven't tried the Becca Smashbox one. But I feel like the, the original Becca is like almost a little too hydrating to where like you have very shiny under eyes where you have no choice but to powder. And I really... If I can choose to not powder, I would rather not powder my under eye because the second you powder it, the second you take away that youthful kind of beautifulness and I would rather not have that. So I think that this covers very well. Do you guys see that? And the whole reason for using a corrector is so that way you don't have to use as much concealer like you can just use a teeny teeny tiny bit of concealer because the corrector itself is what's going to your color correcting basically any kind of discoloration that you have up underneath your under eyes so i'm going to take the same exact brush that i use and the same exact i'm, I'm actually going to wipe it off just so we don't have any extra or excess of that revolution the makeup revolution one so let me go ahead and take the becca Smashbox. I feel like this eye is more covered than this eye. What do you guys think? I'm going to add a little bit more of this Makeup Forever, not Makeup Forever, Makeup Revolution. But I feel like I've already had to use more product over here on this eye. I feel like this, I feel like I like the Smashbox and Becca one better. I don't feel like it's as emollient and as hydrating as the original Becca one is. So I feel like the formula may have changed a little bit. But it also... I feel like it covered more. What do y'all think? Don't look at my dry, my dry shampoos in my hair. I think I actually like the Smash Smashbox Becca one better, but the real test is throughout the day. All right, so this is the Becca and this is the Makeup Revolution. I think the Becca, hands down, because it's only, I don't even think it's been an hour, but already I can see signs of just that darkness popping through, whereas this, this one still looks lifted and it just looks very smooth and pretty. So, like I said, I don't even think it's been an hour. Maybe it has been an hour. What time is it? It's 1.16, so it probably has been an hour, but that's what it looks like close up.
So I would say I know that you get more with this. However, still got it. It's still got it. I'm going to hold on to this and use it a couple more times before I make my final decision. But under first impression, seeing the two, I would say 100% go with this. I'm going to still check in throughout the day and let you all know what I continue to think. But after an hour and it looks like this, I'm thinking Becca is the clear winner here. All right. I will see you guys later on today with our nail haul. Okay. I changed. Anyways, here's the updates. 100% this benefits, it's not benefit, Becca X Smashbox is doing so much better and holding up so much better. This, like, it's just, now obviously you can tell that the Smashbox one, Becca Smashbox, has also, it doesn't look as fresh, it doesn't even look, I don't even think it's been, that. maybe it's like three, four hours. I did do a little crying, like, y'all. May he rest in peace. Oh my gosh. Aaron Carter, this has been, my heart is broken. And I'm like, I don't, I think it's because he was so, so incredibly troubled that I am just having a really, really, I'm not going to cry again. I'm having a really, really, really hard time. Just, it's hard. I don't know why I'm just, I did do a little bit of crying. It wasn't like, is like crying like now where it's like just kind of tearing up and like maybe like a little bit like has come down or whatever but overall like a hundred percent this becca smashbox one looks way better than this one does um but i will say i feel like the becca smashbox the formula has changed ever so slightly so anyway this is from impress I will link these down below. I will also link, it's a referral link and you guys will get $10 off if you spend $40 and then they will give me points towards more nails. Um, but you would help me get more nails because y'all know I'm literally obsessed. So anyways, this is the color Think Pink and these are the shorts. Okay, I don't wanna do the holiday ones yet. Hold on, hold on. These are, these are holiday ones. Okay. These, holy crap, these are my favorite, favorite all time nails. Now, the stiletto is not my favorite. These are kind of like stiletto almond. They're more almond than they are stiletto, but they're still a little more pointed than I like them to be. So I'm just gonna file them and they're gonna look great. But these are so beautiful. They're so dainty. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. They're a medium length. And then you have like the little, I wore these on that date when I went um, to Restoration Hardware and I was just like, I could not stop looking at my nails. So um, anyways, are the rest of these holiday nails? Here is the Make It Rain. And these are so freaking cute. You have the little reindeer and then one of them is a little candy cane. This just is it's not, it's like a cream with red dots on it. And then this looks like a pinky nude. And then these are just like nude with red and green stripes with little rinds. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. These are medium and these are the almond slash stiletto. These are in the color or shade. Or <laughs> they're called warmest wishes. And these are so cute. My mom actually has... They're like little wreaths. She has wreath plates and they remind me, these nails remind me of her plates that she has. They're so cute. It's like that exact, it's, it's not wreath that, I don't know what that is. Tell me, down, tell me down below in the comments what that is. But then you have those and then you have these little glitter nails. These are so pretty. These ones are also short. This is so similar to that white that I'm, or the pink that I'm talking about. Only it's like a little more pink. And I don't know if y'all can see, but it's like, it's white, but there's also a pink tinge to this. So pretty. Gingerbread man, he's so cute. And then you have the glittery nails. These are pretty. I like these ones a lot. Dear Santa, these ones are my favorite so far. Gosh, I'm literally obsessed. Look at how cute that is. And then these ones are really pretty too. These are also short, but these are the Winterful Life. And these are very pretty. They're very neutral. Just very natural, neutral. Oh, so pretty. 
Let me see. Oh, this one, gorgeous. 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 Okay, and then from Dashing Diva, I did not know that these were long, but as you can see, they are long. <laughs> I don't like these. I do not like these at all. So I'm probably gonna donate these or probably, I'm actually probably gonna give these to my friend if she likes these. That way I can bring them to her this week. Be like a late birthday gift for her. Okay, so these are called Urban Chic. Okay, so y'all know I was complaining about the glazed donut, the little collection that they came out with. Well, Okay, they're pretty, they're pretty. I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty. Let me show you. I like it because it's ombre. This is called Rose Water Glaze. And they are pretty, okay? They are. So I like them because they're very neutral, but then they're still like, they're very glazy. You know, they're very shiny and pretty. I will definitely be filing the hell out of these down, but I do like them. And I did want to try one out, but this was the only size. This was the only length, shape, all of that. So if you're into it, link will be down below for these as well. This one is one of my favorites. This is kind of getting close to the pink that I'm talking about, but not quite there yet. But this one is Treat Yourself. And I've had these ones before and I really like them. And then this one is, it just says discount. Wait, no, no, this is Sunset Serenade. So these are, these will be for the summer, but these are like more stiletto-y than they are almonds. But I just like the ombre again. I really like ombre. That is everything with my nails. It's already freaking five o'clock. I don't know where this day has gone, but I'm going to do some nails tonight. I just don't know which ones I want to do. I kind of want to do black nails, though. Like, just some black short nails. I don't know. But I'll show you guys tomorrow what nails I end up going with. I'm not going to do any of the holiday nails yet, though, since, you know, we're still in it's November 7th. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, there are people at the pool today because it's actually like really warm out there today. It's like literally 80 degrees outside. It's insane. But anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. guys happy thursday so um <laughs> it's wednesday it's wednesday i am just putting up all of my stuff that i got in that little alta y'all this was like a freaking full size i cannot wait to use this because i know the ordinary is a really good brand and it's uh for under eye pigmentation and stuff like that so i'm gonna put that right here but i am putting all my stuff up so i have like all my masks in here my memory card needs to be cleaned up so hold on okay so yeah where did i put those things um i had already started packing what i end up doing is i will end up packing like my makeup and my skincare stuff as I use it. So tonight, as I use my skincare stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and pack it, but I'm actually not gonna, actually I'm not gonna pack any skincare stuff for tonight because I got a lot of samples in here that I'm gonna go ahead and take with me and then that way I don't have to bring my my big stuff. So we're gonna do that. And I think I'm gonna start packing my clothes just so I can have that done. I think I'm supposed to also go ahead and meal prep today so I can, yeah, so I'm going to be meal prepping and stuff like that. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and really just end the vlog here. I've got like all my stuff. Like I need to 
clean up and get ready to pack meal prep all that kind of stuff but i also need to get this video up because i am not bringing my computer i am not going to be working i still am unsure if i'm actually going to vlog while i'm there or not because i really just want to spend time with my friends and my parents so i don't know that i'm actually going to be vlogging it might be like things random things here and there so we'll see. I'm not really sure, but I don't even really think that I'm going to bring my camera either. I think I'm just going to leave all of that at home. So if I do end up vlogging, it'll be with my phone. So yeah. But anyways, I need to go ahead and get this video up. Ready to export, edited, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here because it's literally going to take all day. <laughs> if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Get me to 80K by the end of the year. We are currently at... 79,948. So we're like, what? 52 subscribers away. Okay, if y'all can get me there, really appreciate it. Oh, also, do not forget about Ulta. Link down below. They have, I freaking love this time of year at Ulta because you have all the gift sets and all the fun things. I actually have another Ulta haul coming because I forgot that elf, because usually I do this Stila. Usually Stila has a really great holiday kit with their stuff. And this year I was like, what is that? Uh-uh, that's not what you normally do. And then I forgot that people were telling me that elf is a dupe, like elf dupe this. You know, elf is like known now for their dupes and they're duping like all these high-end products literally like five bucks so i was like um i can't not get that stuff and then they also had like another like mystery bag so i was like this thing was so impressive and amazing i was like um yes sign me up please so i have another ulta haul but that is going to be next week because they rerouted the dang thing it was supposed to be here yesterday and it's not going to be here until tomorrow so that'll be on next week's vlog um, but yeah, do not forget about Ulta. It is such a great place, especially for your makeup lovers, your skincare lovers. I love this time of year for, you know, if you want to sample things and try things out, you can find all these little great deals on these holiday packs that they pack things together. So links are going to be down below for everything that you guys saw me haul and get from Ulta. And by the way, I am loving the smell of the it cosmetics moisturizer that yeah yeah the other day i was like what is that smell it smells so good i'm like but i didn't put on anything different like what what is it and it wasn't until last night it dawned on me i was like it just randomly random thought i was like that smell that i've been smelling at night it is that moisturizer. It smells so good. They need to make a perfume. They need to make that in a perfume. They really do. So anyways, I'm loving the new scent <laughs> in case you were wondering, because at first I was like, I don't know about this. But yeah, everything is going to be linked down below. All the It Cosmetics products have been tried and true and I've been using for years on end. I know Peter Thomas Roth is a very good brand, very reputable, reputable brand, reputable brand. And this skincare mask, that is a steal. There are so many steals that you're going to get this time of year. So definitely make sure you check out Ulta. I will link all the things that I personally purchased down below and then some recommendations as well. So thank you to Ulta and Magic Links for sending me that gift card and to be able to share the goodness with you guys. Um, so go save you some money. And also, this is a really great time of year. Make sure you have an Ulta account because they will have different like earnings for you to add, um, earn um, additional points. They will have things for you to like, they have all of these great sample packs that you can add on or so many gift with purchases. Like y'all wait and see all of the things I got for free in this next Ulta order. So I'm telling you, Ulta is the place to shop this time of year and all time of year, but especially this time of year. So again, everything's gonna be linked down below. I love you guys. Have an amazing day and I will see you next week. Bye guys.